It's really close. Yeah. That is quite close. Well done. Round of applause for Sophie, please. It is said that Judy was a guest of honour at the opening of the library building in 1911, and the organisers wanted her to cut the ribbon. With encouragement, Judy chewed through the ribbon, and Lord Sheffield then officially declared the library building open. Yay! Yay. 
Я тебе доверяю, да? Yeah, it is. Thank you. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. So, everyone, I'd like to introduce the great spirit. That is Mr. Fritz Spiegel. Fritz Spiegel was known as the Prince's Park Polymath. He...
mother as her child ran rings and rings around the funeral pyre. Released now, reborn. was the brick. None of us here today will ever stand in the shadow of the completed pyramid. That lies in an unimaginable future. It is the void of possibilities. But we will have been absorbed into it, turned from bone into stone, enduring. This is a bold project. As yet, we have no land secured. This foundation stone is like the Ark of the Covenant and will be exalted until we have found our ground. But the idea of it has become the reality of it with this boundary beating, with the laying of this brick, a stony acorn. In my end is my beginning. It is a man, a father, a brother, a son. He sailed on the Viking ship. He shaped the horns of Mu. He is justified and he is ancient. And now he is at its heart. The intention and direction of the People's Pyramid, its ascent will be in part dictated by his mischievous bollocks. <laughs> The first person to...
the People's Pyramid has been laid. Gimpo, lead us to the town hall. Yeah, take it up, yeah. Fingers. Now, if you all stay there, because it comes back on the front of the wheels around here. So push that hard, push it.